Usher, everybody! Hey, everybody! Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. How's that, uh, how's that Pokemon joke doing now of Robert's? Does that make sense now to you guys? Can you guys explain it to me? Because I don't know shit about Pokemon at all. Do you guys play Pokemon? Are you guys big Pokemon people? Yeah? Just a... All right, all right. I was about to fight everybody. This is awesome. Like the only thing I know about Pokemon, like my nephew was playing it the other day, and he's all excited. He's like, hey, I got two Pokeballs. Is that exciting? I didn't know what to say. I was just like, me too. I just shaved him. <laughs> that wasn't a Pokeball reference, though. I didn't know I was playing Pokeball. He had to explain that to me. So, how does he get Pokeballs? Why don't you give it up for all the comics you saw tonight? It's been a great show, right? Yeah. This is so cool, Santa Fe. It's been a while since I've been here. It's pretty nice. You guys still have all the turquoise here. It's good. You guys didn't get rid of that. It's good. <laughs> it's always on fire, too. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, man. My, uh, my daughter's born last year. It's pretty exciting, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you guys. Clap it up. Yeah. Sex out of condom. It's great. Oh yeah, I told her it was wearing one. Uh, I told her. Yeah, that old trick. <laughs> yeah, I just. Yeah. No, it's weird. Like after that stuff comes out, the doctor asked, "Would you like to keep the placenta?" I was like, "I don't even know if we're gonna keep the kid." <laughs> we kept it though. It's tax season. Nice little write-off. Uh, I got the placenta too, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. <laughs> they didn't give me instructions on the way out or anything. Like, like it's in the freezer chilling right now. Not on Pinterest, so I don't know if there's like a recipe. Is there a recipe? You shooting me? Oh my god, what? Wait, when you okay, when you said put it in a pill? Okay, I've told this joke like a hundred times and nobody has any recipes except Santa Fe. <laughs> Fucking poor Santa Fe has a placenta recipe. Oh, you can do paintings with it, you can do all kinds of shit. Fucking Santa Fe. But you really can eat it. Close, okay, so is there a placenta festival in Taos or something? I've heard about. Yeah, I've heard about the testicle festival like in Montana. Placenta festival? That'd be fun. Someone actually told me that they use part of the placenta to make makeup, and I thought, hmm, Maybelline, maybe she is born with it. Yeah, take that, ladies. <laughs> Rub placentas on your face just to get some dick. Uh, I'm just kidding, I know there's lesbians too. Where is that? Uh, oh, yeah. My daughter's mom's a lesbian now, that's fun. Yeah, laugh it up, hilarious, yeah. Yeah, she cheated on me with another woman, you guys. While she was pregnant. Well, I know women get weird cravings when they're pregnant. But vagina? And they're that one. Yeah, I had a feeling she had cheated on me too because the neighbors kept asking me how I liked my new car. Then I had a feeling she was cheating on me with another woman when someone asked me how I like my new Subaru Outback. <laughs> Take that, Linda Beaver. Is Linda Beaver still around? <laughs> uh, no, I should know she was a lesbian too, because like, every time we played rock, paper, scissors, she picked scissors. <laughs> yeah, I got a couple porn watchers. Nice. Nice. My old roommate's girlfriend cheated, uh, my, yeah, my old girlfriend's uh, girlfriend cheated on him with another girl, and uh, we actually walked in on it. It's pretty cool. Uh, 
My friend didn't think it was cool. He's actually pissed off. Like he walked out the door and then held the door open like I was gonna follow him out. It's <laughs> like, nah, I gotta see this. <laughs> Lost a friend that day, but it was worth it. Got a lot of friends. <laughs> actually, I don't. I, uh, I don't have very many friends. I lose a lot of friends because I'm an asshole. Even though Esbel said I'm one of the nicest guys. She doesn't know me very well. She's met me like twice. And uh, she's making shit up. I tell him, you know, I wrote my own intro. Uh, I had this one friend who was telling me that when he was born, his mom had to push so hard that she pooped a little bit. Yeah, because he's fat. And, uh, I saw the dude on the news a couple years ago. He got arrested for stealing a school bus while he was on meth. Yeah, so I went to see him in prison. And uh, he was pretty excited to see, uh, to see me until I said, Hey, looks like your mom kept the wrong piece of shit. <laughs> I was a good bird too. I haven't seen him in a while. Hit him with that. It's pretty good. They gonna do shit about it because that glass is there. <laughs> yeah, he's still there too. Okay. I don't know. Sometimes I sometimes I don't know how to like react to friends. Like my friend's dad died recently. My friend Jason, who's black, uh, which isn't important for the joke, but it's important later when I tell a racist joke. You're like, oh yeah, he's got a friend Jason. He's black. Uh, <laughs> but Jason's dad died recently, so I sent him a text message, and. Uh, I don't know, I, it wasn't a very good text message. I was trying to be nice, you know, be supportive and everything, but I sent, uh, hey man, sorry to hear about your dad. Uh, let me know if you need anything except for money or someone to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's why I found out there's a middle finger emoji, so that's cool. <laughs> Even comes in black, which is nice, because you need that. Uh, yeah, I'm not very good with money. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sucks. I've always been bad with money. Like, I started when I was younger. I wasted a lot of money on this big pyramid scheme. Church. <laughs> yeah, you guys know what's up. Stupid little hat. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go to hell. It'll be fine. Ah. Yeah, actually, uh, I went to the bank the other day to visit my nine bucks. You guys ever do that? Just go see what your nine bucks is doing. I was saying, go to the bank, so I always try to make small talk. I don't like small talk. And this guy's sitting at his computer, he's like, hey, uh, it says here, you're self-employed, what do you do for a living? And I was like, oh, uh, you know that show Breaking Bad, where the guy sells meth? And he's like, yeah, he's like, I do stand-up comedy. <laughs> That's why there's nine bucks in my account. He's like, actually, uh, the parentheses means negative nine. You overdrafted. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, There's my savings account too, which made it worse. I was, uh, yeah, I was trying to save up to open a chicken restaurant that's only open on Sundays. Yeah, Chick fil Atheist. <laughs> I was excited about it too, I had a business plan and everything. There's gonna be better than my old restaurant, the Parkinson's Diner, best shakes in town. <laughs> Take that, Team Wolf. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm an asshole. I, uh... <laughs> Have you guys ever delivered a pizza to a house that has a black light instead of a normal light and you realize you've got semen on your pants? <laughs> on the back? <laughs> and on the box? <laughs> oh, hey, uh, here's your stuffed crust. <laughs> and I came in less than 30 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, I got fired a lot. Uh, I got fired from a pencil factory for taking too many number twos. That's stupid. Ah, uh, God damn it. Uh, <laughs> Here's what I do on Facebook. I like to add people from high school that I didn't like. Then I take a picture of my ass and tag them in the photo. Kind of weird because that's homeschool. <laughs> my brother's kind of a douche. <laughs> Man, I had some uh, roid rage recently. Yeah, I got hemorrhoids and I'm pretty pissed about it. <laughs> Who's got hemorrhoids in here? Anybody? Holy shit. 
That's awesome. That's awesome, because I've told that joke quite a few times and nobody admits it at the comedy show. So that's pretty cool. You know, I thought they were making all that cream just for me, but I've got some friends now. That's nice. My little support group and everything. It's always women, though, that woo. Yeah. Did you have a child? Is that what caused your hemorrhoids? Or? Whoa, what caused your hemorrhoid? What is it, IBS? Wow, she even admitted to IBS. That's, uh, that's a cool lady right there. Hemorrhoids and IBS. Oh, yeah. Are you married? <laughs> Just uh. <laughs> wow, yeah, I don't know what caused mine. I don't have IBS. And I never had a child, like... So, I don't know. Some guy at a truck stop in Michigan uh, told me I was a violent wiper. That was kind of weird. I don't know. <laughs> like, he was just in there, you know. I didn't know the dude. I don't know. Trying to figure out what caused my hemorrhoids. I travel a lot, which is pretty nice, you know. And uh, my, my grandpa was a truck driver. He had really bad hemorrhoids. He said I was traveling all the time. Which maybe it was, I don't know. But his was gross. You can see him from the back. He's, I don't have them that bad yet. Uh, I do travel a lot, which is nice. I get to see a lot of cool places. Uh, and Arkansas. I had to, had to go to Arkansas recently. Have you guys been to Arkansas? Holy shit. Yeah, if you guys go to Arkansas, I try to avoid Pizza Hut. They have inbred sticks. Yeah, those will knock your tooth out. Uh, no, I shouldn't talk shit. I have a friend who used to live in Arkansas. He doesn't live anywhere now because he's dead. But, uh... Yeah, the virus got him, you guys. Uh, AIDS. <laughs> yeah, you guys forgot about that one, huh? Uh, no, you know, like, when someone dies, like some asshole who says, ah, he's in a better place now. I just thought that saying was stupid. Uh, then my friend from Arkansas died. I was like, all right, that makes sense. <laughs> I shouldn't talk shit. I grew up in Iowa. Iowa's not that great. Have you guys been to Iowa? No? Yeah, you're not missing it. It's, it's a bunch of cornfields and meth labs. It's, <laughs> it's pretty much all it is. It was, it was kind of weird growing up there, too, because my dad was like a... He was a town drunk, which is kind of cool, but not that great. Where was a small town. It wasn't that impressive. Uh, I was really good at swearing, though. I learned a lot of cool swear words from my dad. He would take, like, a normal swear word and then throw in a bonus swear word, which I thought was kind of cool. Like, the word cocksucker wasn't good enough. He'd be like, you cock fucking sucker. I was like, all right, I'll use that at recess. That's good. But it's homeschooled, so that sucks. Uh, <laughs> I went to Mexico that was, uh, pretty recently. Have you guys been down there? It's not bad, yeah. Yeah, that's where I get my hemorrhoid cream now. It's a lot cheaper down there. Or preparacion ache. Burns this the same. <laughs> well, I was driving back, I decided to get a book on tape. To listen to, and I got a Where's Waldo book on tape. Yeah, it's weird. It was silent for 40 minutes. Then the dude's like, there he is. That scared the shit out of me. So I don't do books on tape anymore. Yeah. I love singing in the car. Holy shit. Like, that's why my voice is all jacked up right now. I have to drive the whole hour from Albuquerque to get up here. And uh, I just sang in my car the entire time, it was awesome. I've actually been quit, uh, thinking about quitting comedy, and I was gonna start a Christian rock band with some single dads called Soul Custody. <laughs> yeah. Gonna play every other weekend. And Tuesday is six to nine. <laughs> this next song is called Johnny's not your real dad. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Like music. You guys like music? You guys music fan? Who likes Whitney Houston? Any hey, Whitney? Yeah, Whitney Houston, that's right. Too bad her bathtub didn't have a crack problem. <laughs> that's a good fucking joke, fuck you guys. <laughs> Shit. Oh man. My brother likes death metal music. Anyone here have shitty taste? Yeah, you like death metal music? I don't know. 
He took me to a concert one time, and I was trying to get into it, and I just, I don't know, it was, it was weird. Plus, I was thinking the whole time, like, I wonder if this dude always sounds like that, you know? Like, he's at Thanksgiving or something, he's like, Grandma passed the turkey. <laughs> and she's got to hit the life alert button. <laughs> Some faces in the taters. <laughs> it's on Craigslist, I'm calling about the free cats. <laughs> Oh, yeah. My brother ran out of weed one time, so I convinced him to smoke some catnip. Yeah. It's cool, yeah, I got the munchies, he had a bird. Yeah, he brought it in the house and showed it to us first. Then he showed us his butthole and walked off. I was like, dude, you got a hemorrhoid. Do you guys smoke weed here? You guys into that? Alright, nice. Cocaine's a big thing here too, I heard earlier. Um, you guys well see the comics backstage. Uh, <laughs> nah, I used to, be, uh, used to be a big cocaine guy, you know? My, uh, my nickname back then was uh, Tetris Fletcher. So I could make four lines disappear at once. It's pretty impressive. I have to quit doing that though. I like weed though, weed's good. I, uh, I started getting high when I was younger. I'd stare at the lava lamp for hours. And my mom would come in and say, hey, you want me to plug that in? <laughs> yeah, mom's cool. She used to smoke a lot of drugs too. Now she's smoking her e-cig. Oh yeah, she's pretty excited about that. She's like, yeah, just like a real cigarette. I was like, yeah, but you can't put it out of my arm. <laughs> See, I think that was funny. She started smoking real cigarettes again. <laughs> so I gotta, wear, I gotta wear sleeves in her house now. I, uh, I'm just kidding, I don't get invited to my mom's house. I, uh, I always say weird shit. I'm a weird dude. Like, last time I was there, she was all excited when I got there. She was like, hey, your stepdad took some ribs out. I was like, to suck his own dick? She's like, no, for dinner. I was like, oh. That makes sense. Uh, this is kind of a cool story. I uh, recently beat the shit out of my childhood bully. Yeah, she's not as tough as she used to be, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I fucked her up pretty good in Santa Fe. <laughs> I know, and you guys clapped about her. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, ha, ah, fuck you, Amanda. <laughs> She's like, who's Amanda? I was like, shit. <laughs> Wrong person. Yeah, I still won. That was nice. I felt bad for the baby she was holding though afterwards. Yeah. I know, I thought it was Amanda's baby, so I was like, yeah, that baby's probably a piece of shit. I don't know why I talk like that. That's fine. Babies are tough. So it's a weird response. <laughs> like one person laughs, the rest of you could think about calling the cops or something. <laughs> oh man, yeah, yeah, I just named my penis Sasquatch. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Terry and no one ever sees it. <laughs> yeah. It's also blurry in photos. And it likes beef jerky. <laughs> <laughs> I never walked in on my penis eating beef jerky, that'd be weird. Yeah. Like, share with me, dick. <laughs> I, uh, I stared at this girl's boobs one time. She had a Playboy tank top on. She's like, what the hell are you staring at? And I was like, the articles. <laughs> yeah, no, that was pretty funny. She didn't think it was very funny. You guys, uh, hey, here's that racist joke, guys. Reminded you of earlier. Uh, you guys ever do anything accidentally racist in your life? All right. I guess you're waiting for my story. Uh, this will be a fun one. All right. So I moved into a new house recently. Pretty excited, you know. 
and uh, hired some movers because I'm lazy. And uh, they sent over a couple black dudes. And uh, here's where I fucked up. You guys don't ever do this, all right? One of the guys is carrying, he's carrying a big box up at my house, and he looks at me and he goes, Master, and I was like, oh no, uh, Kurt. <laughs> Thanks, one racist in the back. I didn't know, uh, I didn't know what a master bedroom was, so I was totally thrown off, and my friend was there explaining what a master bedroom was. I was like, oh shit. Uh, so I tried to apologize to the guy, but he was really pissed off. He dropped the box. All my swastikas, confederate flags fell out. My nude painting of Hitler called Dress to the Knights fell out. Glad you guys laughed at that. Some, uh, some audiences don't like that joke. It's mostly white audiences. Black audiences love that joke. The first time I told that joke was in Atlanta, Georgia. And the crowd was way different than this. <laughs> yeah. And I just written the joke, like when you write a new joke, you're excited to get it out there. Like, even if it's that joke and you're at, at Atlanta. And uh, I was a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I was pretty nervous to tell the joke. I got to the venue, it was all black people. I was like, oh shit. It's like, I might die tonight. <laughs> and I thought about it as far as like, hey, if I die tonight, at least I die doing what I love. Being racist. So, <laughs> No, they actually, they loved the joke that night. They bought me beer, like I had free beers like all night, it was great. So I was like, all right, this joke's gonna kill everywhere. And then I tell it in front of white people. And, uh, yeah. Sometimes it doesn't go well. <laughs> You'll laugh in the car sometimes, that's fine. That's all right. Or sometimes, uh, like I was in Minnesota doing a show and that was the only, ja uh, the only joke a white guy laughed at. And that scared me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, oh, that's not my target audience. <laughs> uh, it's nice living in a house, though. It's pretty nice, you know. I uh, I get my neighbor's mail in my mailbox sometimes. Oh, that's weird. Uh, do you guys get your neighbor's mail in your mailbox? Yeah. What do you guys do with it? You give it back? Yeah. No. Uh, nice. I don't either. No, oh, you do. You're nice. I don't. I was like, yeah, the mailman fucked up. I mean, <laughs> like a package, you give it to him if it's a package? I don't even do that. I got a ransom note. <laughs> and I, I was gonna give it back and I totally forgot about it. I went on tour for like three weeks, totally spaced it, came back home, time was up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there I was on the counter, you know? I was like, shit, I wonder what happened with that, you know? He didn't have $25,000, I saw his bank statement. It was close, he had like 24.5, but... Yeah, who makes 500 bucks in three weeks? <laughs> I mean... He's doing good though, he's dating again, it's good for him. Uh, smiling, that's nice. Yeah, his wife is dead. <laughs> I don't know if she's dead. She might be in a trunk somewhere. I didn't read the whole thing. So. Yeah, it's hard to read. Oh, man. You guys are neat. I, uh, I was doing a show in Chicago. Uh, the room wasn't this nice. I'll tell you that, Robert. <laughs> it was dark and gross and it smelled weird. And uh, it was fun, but I had to go first. And going first sucks. And this lady comes up after the show. She's like, man, that's gotta suck going first. I can't think of anywhere where you'd wanna go first. And I was like, gangbang. <laughs> and she's like, true that. <laughs> I was at an orgy one time, and uh, oh, fuck you guys. <laughs> that's not the punchline. <laughs> they know I'm full of shit, though. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Well, just play along, all right? Just play along with the joke. Uh, all these are true stories. <laughs> this one obviously is not. Uh, <laughs> I was at an orgy one time, and uh, <laughs> uh, there's a guy there that looked just like me. He was my doppelganger. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I wrote that joke jerking off in the mirror. He's like, ah, this guy is pretty good. And he's a southpaw, that's neat. And he's delivering a pizza. Yeah, I've never been to an orgy, you guys knew that. I don't get invited to many uh, twosomes, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. to try online dating, that was weird. Have you guys done that yet? Online dating? Yeah. Yeah, what site did you use? Uh, what site did you use? Bumble. Bumble, is that a pretty good one? No. You guys ever heard of Craigslist? That's, yeah, I tried Craigslist. Free cats, yeah, but uh, it's not the pussy I'm looking for, you guys. Uh, the girl I met on there was pretty hideous. Uh, not only did she have an Adam's apple, she had an Adam's banana. It's probably what caused the hemorrhoids. Uh, <laughs> ah, gross. <laughs> Do you have homeless people here in Santa Fe? Yeah? Thanks. What's that? Oh, okay. Neat. Okay. Pizza homeless. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was wondering why they knew a specific dude that was kind of weird. Uh, I got an argument with the homeless guy in Albuquerque recently. It was weird. I was just walking down the street and he's like, hey, give me a dollar. And I was like, and I have a dollar. Then he yelled at me, he's like, I want the truth. I said, you can't panhandle the truth. <laughs> he was like, ah, that's pretty good. <laughs> then he gave me a buck. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Almost gave me a buck. Negative eight now, that's pretty good. That student loan's paid off. <laughs> You guys, uh, you guys play fantasy football at all? Anyone here? No, me neither. I got molested by my coach. <laughs> he still does it though. It's weird. Sometimes twice a day. So get out of here, pervert. A lot of people say that turkey puts you to sleep on Thanksgiving. That's not true, the Dallas Cowboys do. <laughs> uh, I don't give a shit about the Cowboys. I accidentally told that joke in Dallas and got stabbed. I forgot to change it to the Lions that day. Some dude stabbed me. Bang. That sucks. You guys baseball fans? Any baseball fans at all? Two needs. What's that? Red Sox. Red Sox? Okay. You got one person that might like this joke then. Uh, I like watching baseball on TV, but I hate when the announcer says, that's a 6-4-3 double play for scoring at home. Like, dude, if I'm scoring at home, I'm not watching baseball. <laughs> Unless I'm doing it doggy style. <laughs> it's like doggy style, Santa Fe? Couple, couple of them. The rest of it just like the boring shit. Yeah, dog style's great. It's kind of weird though, because my grandpa used to call it dog fashion. You guys ever heard that? Dog fashion? Yeah, isn't it fucking weird? Uh, it's weird to me, because I'm like, hey, hey, Flesh Nuts, I'm gonna take your grandma upstairs, gonna do it dog fashion. I know, I was like, we don't have stairs, it's weird. <laughs> Grandma's been dead for six years. <laughs> yeah, I had my Teddy Ruxman doll. I thought that was my grandma. That was weird. Sad. Teddy stopped talking after that, too. Sad. I like you guys. It's 
I don't know if you guys are like this next joke though. I, uh, my girlfriend's a hoarder, uh, which is weird because she's had three abortions. <laughs> Saw the comedians laughing over there. <laughs> Out of the crowd laughing. That's fine, you guys don't have to laugh. That joke cost me 900 bucks though, so fuck you guys. <laughs> I actually have this uh, t-shirt for sale after the show, you guys. I'm pretty excited about this. I, uh, it doesn't have to do with abortion. It's uh, my soul custody band. I started the band. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. I've, uh, yeah, I've got the t-shirts. I'll have them for sale in the back back there. Uh, all the proceeds go to child support, which is neat. That's fantastic. Actually, I, my daughter's 19 now. It's fine. Still paying child support though. Ah! Uh, are expensive, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but she, yeah, she knows. She's laughing about it. She's like, yeah, like Oh, I just got hot in here. Ah! Uh. No, we can make fun of my ex girlfriend before we get out of here. Uh, seriously, thank you guys for coming out tonight. Uh, you guys have been really cool. And, uh, that's cool to have live comedy in Santa Fe. It's cool to get out of Albuquerque and hang out up here, even though Cheats is closed. Uh, I was excited about it. My friend used to work there. And, yeah, I guess he's unemployed now. But uh, you, know, you know what they need is the, the TP on the Indian Reservation. Uh, TP's show club is what I was trying to say. I was trying to, yeah, I fucked it up. <laughs> Instead of TDs, I was going to say, TP's show club, yeah. They have a R&B cover band, Earth, Wind, and Firewater. <laughs> Didn't go well. Uh, yeah, let's make fun of my ex-girlfriend, like I, I planned. Instead of that shitty joke. But I fucked that up. Uh, yeah, my ex-girlfriend, uh, she asked me one day, she's like, hey, who are your, uh, who are your celebrity crushes? You guys play that game? Stupid. That's such a stupid game. I didn't know what it was. It's like, what is that? She's like, well, pick three celebrities. If you get a chance to sleep with them, you can. You won't get in trouble. It's like, well, if I rape them, I'll probably get in trouble. And uh, we stopped playing that game. And uh, my girlfriend wanted a fur coat for Christmas one year. They didn't have those at Goodwill, so here's what I did. I bought a regular coat and rolled around in cat hair for two hours. <laughs> Pretty romantic, two hours is a long time to roll around like that here, you fucking assholes. I could have stopped at like 10 minutes, but. It's pretty nice. Maybe that's why Isabel thinks I'm nice to hear that joke, and she's like, that's pretty romantic. He's a nice guy. Uh, no, my, uh, my girlfriend and I, we used to uh, watch a lot of movies together, like on Netflix and stuff, and I always hated it when the guy in the movie would do something nice, because she'd always look at me and she'd be like, hey, uh, yeah, you know. She's like, why don't you ever do anything like that? Yeah. And I would just sit there, I wouldn't say anything uh, until we were watching porn. Yeah, I'd wake her up and be like, hey. Uh, why don't you ever do anything like that? And she would say, I do when you're out of town. We'll do one more joke and then you guys can go do Santa Fe things. Okay. I do like you guys though, you guys are pretty neat. Even though you didn't like my abortion joke, I thought it was pretty clever. Pretty clever joke. I, uh, I had this friend in high school. It was my brother, because I was homeschooled. And, uh, his nickname back then was The Mole, which I thought was really stupid. So I started calling him The Molester. And he thought it was cool until he got a tattooed on his arm. I realized it said The Molester. <laughs> I'm Kurt Fletcher, thank you guys so much for being here tonight.